Hello. Welcome to your practice. Today we're going to use uh, a couple of blocks for some support underneath the sit bones when we come into our squat position. And when we come into squat, you can bring it up to the wall so that your back can feel the support of the wall. The wall is a beautiful thing in yoga. We can use it as a prop and that'll offer some support in your squat. But if it's in your practice, you can go ahead and, and leave your support in the middle of your mat. And if you don't have any blocks handy, grab yourself a blanket or go ahead and, and get your bolster. You can use some books and you can stack some books. So let's go ahead and um, come into that squat. So you can bring your feet one foot up and place your sit bones down. And you might need two blocks stacked and then the other foot can come up. The arms can come in between the thighs. And then you can heel toe the feet outward, like um, just crawl your toes outward and find where it feels better. And then go where it feels a little bit better. Bring the palms together, elbows into the middle of the thighs. Close those beautiful eyes now and go ahead and rest your forehead down on your thumbs. Bring the hands to the forehead, forehead onto the thumbs. Take a deep breath in through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth. Again. Now let the breath come in through the nose and out through the nose. Find our good friend now, the Ujjayi breath. In through the nose and out. Stay with that breath now. Feel the inner thighs on the arms and let the arms come into the inner thighs offering just a little bit of resistance and press the legs, the inner thighs. Find that resistance and hold. Take a breath into it or two. Then relax as the breath flows out. Come into the Ujjayi breath once again. Feel that deep relaxation in the lower back, the outer hips. And let's come into that light little squeeze one more time. Feel the elbows into the inner thighs. Press the inner thighs back and feel that squeeze. Take a few breaths here. Then relax. Come into the Ujjayi breath. Make an intention for your practice here. 
What are you asking for in your life? Is it more strength, healing, flexibility, a freedom? Go ahead and breathe that all in. We'll offer this outward, maybe to someone in your family, your community, and let it spill into the world. And now press your thumbs into the forehead and the forehead presses down, hold. Press the elbows into the inner thighs, hold. Press the thighs into the elbows and hold that press. Take a breath. And then relax and soften. Two more breaths here. And one more. And then go ahead and come off of your block. Let the legs come out. And from here, just a light little roll from side to side. So you'll feel your sit bones. One left and then the other. Here's where you can, like you're moving your, your tail feathers out. So just a little swipe outward and then outward on the other one. And if you feel that you're collapsing back, then elevate your sit bones so that you have a little height, so you can pop a block under or your blanket so that you feel that you're coming forward. And then bring the legs outward. And this is where you have a few options as well. So if you, if it doesn't feel good to have your legs straight out, you can bring a block underneath the knees or you can roll a blanket. Or sometimes if you have a, a pool noodle, you can place a pool noodle underneath your knees so that they they have a little bit of height. And then from here, bring one hand on one hip and let that hip come upward and then take the hand into that hip and press it back down. And now we're moving like this. Close the eyes, let the hip come into the hand and then press it down. And now marry it with the breath. Take a deep inhale up and exhale through the mouth back down. <sighs> One more like that. In through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> Come on over to the other side. Inhale through the nose. Let it lift and out through the mouth. Again. Now in through the nose and out through the nose. Last one. And then from here, just walk your sit bones back so that it feels like you're coming forward. Take your hands over and frame one of your legs. I have mine on my right leg and I'm going to walk down that leg as far as I comfortably can 
nose points down, crown to the toes. And notice there when you're on your fingertips, if you can move your shoulders. Then walk back one spot, maybe at the calf, and then move the shoulders. You might move one forward, then the other, or both. We'll get into that movement in a minute. Just noticing, can you move the shoulders? And then come back one more spot. Bend the elbows, point the nose down, and let's come into swimming shoulders. So let the fingertips come out, just so you have a little bit more range of motion. Let the shoulders come up to the ceiling. You'll feel a squeeze into the, um, to the uh, spinal column, and then towards the earlobes and down. Up to the ceiling, towards the earlobes forward, and then down. They come back, up, forward, and down, and now smooth that action out. Close the eyes and come into your breath. You might like to inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Or maybe it feels like heaven on earth to let a few breaths out the mouth with a natural sigh. And let's go the opposite direction. So circle it back, both shoulders. And then relax there. Let one shoulder come forward and the other one pulls back. And then switch. One shoulder forward the other one pulls back. And like we're swimming now, one shoulder circles forward and then the other. Eyes are closed. Notice how it feels from your perspective from the inside out. And then the opposite direction. So like we're swimming backwards now, one shoulder at a time. Breathe nice and fluidly as you move like this. One more breath, just like this. And then relax, sit up. Let the legs come in and move the feet and feel the knees with your hands on top of the knees, a little paddle, and then come into a drum roll a little quicker so you can feel the compression of the back of the legs on the floor, a little bit of compression all the way down the legs. We'll bring that with our hands now, a little bit of compression. So bring the hands in like fists so that you have a little shelf there and you can pat, pat, pat. All the way up and all the way down. Just one leg, two or three times up and down, little compression, and then the other. This is the antennae to our circulatory system, allowing the blood to come up. There we go. And then come out into that um, wide V sit. For you yinsters, it's dragonfly. And then again, a little sway from side to side. From here, let one hip come up 
and then press it down with the eyes closed. Stay on that same side, let it come up and down that same side. And then one more. And then move right over to the other side. You might need one hand on the floor while one hand remains on the hip. And one more here. And I'll move, walk the sit bones back so it feels like you're coming forward and frame that other leg with your fingertips and walk as far out as you comfortably can. Nose is pointed down, crown to the toes. Move the shoulders as much as you can in whatever feels good here, just so you know um, where that sensation is. Feel the subtleties of the shoulders. And then walk back just a wee bit. And come into that same motion with the shoulders, feeling and sensing your flexibility, your range of motion. Where do you feel that subtle sensation? And then come back that third place and walk the fingertips out. And we'll swim these shoulders now. So go ahead and point the toes, the nose downward. <laughs> Send the shoulders up for a squeeze into the spinal column. Bring the shoulders forward, then let them drop down. Feel them carry back. These four distinct motions up, forward, down, and back. And then smooth that out Eyes are closed and feel the body swim. Marry it with the breath. And now swim them back. And now one forward and one back. Like we're swimming, like an elliptical machine. Eyes are closed and you can feel the body move like this. Notice how the shoulders, the shoulder blade, and the rib cage feels as we move and share the workload. And now what does the other direction feel like? Is it easy? Do you need to slow it down? Feel your breath. And one more breath here. and let yourself come up. Bring the legs together, give a little drum roll onto the floor. Notice how that feels. A little paddle of the toes and a little compression of the legs as you come forward and back. You can also pop something underneath the knees if coming forward doesn't feel good. So they can have a nice, big, generous bend coming forward and back. And one more breath here. And then from here, we're going to bring our soles of our feet together. 
So a nice large diamond shape here. And this is where you want to really walk those sit bones back. And if it feels like you're collapsing backward, go ahead and pop that blanket underneath the sit bones so it feels like you're coming forward. And bring your hands by the knees. Here's where if you need some support, please do. So you can bring the blocks or a blanket underneath the thighs, underneath by the ankles if that feels better, or maybe for you it's the knees. So go where it feels better. Bring your hands by the knees and feel the anchoring of your sit bones, the weight, and let yourself grow nice and tall from that weight. Up, up, up. Close the eyes as you do so. Feel the length of the spine all the way up through the palate, through the crown, and feel where your heart center is. And like we have a, a string, a golden thread here, right through the heart center, all the way backward to the wall. So as you inhale, feel that heart center come forward. Let the chin be carried up to expose the throat. And as you exhale, feel the heart center move back, chin compresses down and round that spine. Marry this with the breath now. Inhale forward, let the shoulders come back, and then exhale, squeeze. Feel the rocking on the front of the sit bones, and then the back as you round. Notice the shoulders open up as the heart opens. And then exhale round, feel the shoulders come towards each other as the chin comes down. Two more. And this is now we're going to come into just a little bit of stillness in our butterfly pose. So you can bring the arms onto the shins. You can bring the hands in between the feet to open them up. These are options. Or they can just lay sloppily on the floor, knuckles heavy. The head can come down at first and let it hang if that feels okay for you. For some of you that won't feel okay, so you can bring the hands, elbows on the inner knees and forehead down onto the thumbs. Or you can bring the bolster in between the feet, forehead down onto the bolster on large, medium, whatever feels delicious here. There's so many options. Choose one. And then feel the body breathe here. We'll come into that ujjayi breath now through the belly. So as you inhale through the nose, let the belly round and fill right up, nice and full. As you exhale, tuck that navel towards the spinal column. Then inhale, press it out. Exhale, pull it back. Come into that movement. And one more. 
eyes are closed, leave the body where it is, and let the head rise up through center as you inhale, and exhale, let it come downward. Carry the head over to one side and let it lift up as you fill the lungs, and downward as they empty. Carry the head over to the other side, inhale up, and exhale down. Come into your rhythm now. Center with a lift. And then lower. Over to the side, lift. And lower. And one more, full set. We'll start with the center up. Last one. Then walk the hands up. This is where you'll come into your Shavasana. So you can bring anything underneath the legs. So if you have a bolster, please use it. And if you um, have your blocks, you can place them underneath the legs if it feels good. You can come onto your back using your blanket as a blanket arms out by your side. Scan the body here and let go of control of the breath. Let yourself melt into that earth quality here, fully held. Your doing is done. Let yourself absorb all of this goodness that you worked for. Relax through the jaw. Feel that deep relaxation. Move down through the shoulders. Through the rib cage. Hips. Noticing how you feel. The legs sink and soften. And if you'd like to remain there, please do. If you have five minutes, remain for f that five minutes. If you have 10 minutes or maybe 15, let yourself really rest so that the body can absorb all of that goodness into its new normal of flexibility and the softness through the shoulders, the hips, the whole entire body. And thank you for your practice. Namaste.